yeah so like i said yes it's uh it's uh the tribute is dedicated to dante the son of sparta half demon himself demon hunter uh dante from the devil may cry series and the anime and the mangas and you know uh glad that he is confirmed to be in marvel versus capcom 3 uh so far um you can go to ign.com yes i'm plugging ign.com or just plug in screenshots of the the new game coming out the game looks beautiful so far uh they got they bring back some of the classic moves people i saw berserka barrage uh from wolverine i saw uh gamma destroyer from uh um hulk gamma wave you know i'm seeing all these uh you know so far we know that all the people you saw in the trailer is confirmed and the other two so far confirmed one from marvel is deadpool deadpool is is in it as well as uh from capcom uh of course dante and yes of course felicia i can tell from the silo silhouette felicia from uh dark stalkers is in it um so looking forward to that uh looking forward to seeing dante uh if you haven't checked out the dante tribute i did um go to my uh channel my other my sister channel as i call it uh, mom vernon kid 1982 that's the year i was born uh subscribe become friends um and enjoy the tribute over there um uh had ass kicker say you know he's never played devil may cry games uh he says he's might check him out now i uh dante's one badass great uh leading character uh hopefully capcom will make devil may cry 5 uh but uh if you want to know the chronological order to go in officially if you do get the games everybody whoever wants to play, you go from here's the chronological order you go three three one four then two somehow the anime is in between number one and number two number four of the series so if you you want to know where the anime takes place it takes place between Devil May Cry number one and Devil May Cry four. Okay, for all those who have an Xbox, Devil May Cry four came out for the Xbox and the PS3. Uh, all the others are for the PS2. Okay, gotta plug my channel. I'm sorry, uh, but also everybody, all the other channels I plug from GL Crow to Respect to uh, Nightwing, my cousin to. Um, uh, Deadpoolzilla, check out their channel, subscribe as always. Okay. Uh, got a question from here's the new guy, and he calls himself just Eli Number One, and he says to me, mm, "Excuse me." He says, "Doing during though you make." Since you do a lot of tributes and you seem to have good info, when are you going to start doing villains? Are you going to ever do villains? Um, basic, okay, you know, somebody, this is not the first time anybody's ever asked me this. Uh, and the answer to that question is yes, I am going to do villain, uh, villain tributes, uh, very soon. Uh, matter of fact, real soon i say i'm not gonna go into my second run of dc hero tributes once i get out of uh once i finish my second run of marvel i'm right into the villains and with the villains it's not gonna be deep marvel villains dc villains it's just gonna be villain whoever um so uh don't worry uh eli uh, thank you for the question um and uh one more question for this big question left by brandon hex which i wanted to touch on a lot and this is one is from uh my friend papa the dog 
87 and he asks me hey kid how you doing just wanted to get your thoughts on hold on get your thoughts on what Get your thoughts on Secret Avengers since okay yeah Secret Avengers since you have been praising it. Uh, first issue was very interesting. Um, very interesting. You know, it, it went right into the action, full blown. Bam, went right into action. You see, uh, Valkyrie and uh, Black Widow decked out in incognito. You know, getting ready to do a mission. Uh, the team. I'm telling you this is going to be the team that everybody's going to talk about this lineup is crazy uh i love diodata's artwork ed brubaker wrote very well um but ed brubaker is probably one of my favorite writers um ed brubaker has done justice to the likes of daredevil he put daredevil in people's eyes who fell off daredevil back on the mat he made some of Daredevil's lamest villains in the past, like Mr. Fear, badass. You know, Ed Brubaker and Diodata, one of my favorite artists, does just, man, he drew beasts the way I loved how almost like the old school beast, where he didn't look too much like a cat. He looked like a mixture between an ape and, you could say, Sasquatch in a little bit. Um... Beast is so much into the Avengers now. He's he's decked out now. His costume now has the letter A in it instead of having the X Men. He's basically like saying screw the X Men, you know. Um, and of course, you know we're, you know, um, you know X Men still going. Uh, now Storm is now getting uh, knowing a little bit more about X Force, and she says, Scott, we're gonna have to have a little talk now. Uh, about this and you know everybody wants to have a little shot now you know uh, you know it, it's, it's okay you know but I enjoyed um, I enjoyed uh, Secret Avengers I know Blue Goblin I know a lot of people wanted thought Blue Gobby would talk about it um, unfortunately from what he told me and from what I read uh, he said it it it, it was a ship you know that happens shit happens what are you gonna do uh, but yeah, I pretty much didn't enjoy uh, Secret Avengers very much, very much, very well. Okay, this one is a very, very serious question, and I really wanted to leave this one out there for the last. And this one comes from our good friend Brendan Hex. Um, check out his channel, of course. Like I always do, gotta plug the man, show the respect that he deserves, and in the return, you know. Hex shows love back to me. Um, okay. Um, so the first question uh, Hex asks me, it's a big one though, and I'm going to read it all out. I'm going to read bits and pieces of it, but not all of it. Okay, he says, hey, he says, hey kid. So here I go, with a bit of a long one again. Okay, as a bl black man, yes, I am half black. Um, I am mixed. Um, he says, who likes comics and sci-fi, which has, which has been accused of, and has lacked ethnic, ethnic diversity in the past has worked on that over the years basically and yes you know sci-fi and comics have worked over ethnic diversity over the years okay basically he says I've noticed recently black characters black men characters are now getting more face time example Luke Cage of course but now the Patriot will be getting more major time he and Cage do look good together as the father-son type duo versus Captain America and Nomad 
how are things shaping up in your eyes all right now first and foremost I'll answer that question um yes you know uh over the years we we've all seen you know sometimes you know uh you know somebody of a different color race has not really has gotten shitted on okay basically um it uh has gotten shitted on you know basically uh over the time and uh you know but over time yes you know characters have come into the light cage is a prime example um luke has was growing up he came out in the 70s around the time you know 70s was big for the big black exploitation era